हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जॉब्स एंड एजुकेशन डू सब्सक्राइब एंड शेयर माय वीडियोस दिस इज़ योर महेश डोले इन दिस वीडियो क्लास आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट एलास्टिक कॉन्स्टेंट्स एलास्टिक कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर एंग्स मॉडलस मॉडलस ऑफ रिजिडिटी बल्क मॉडलस सो एंग्स मॉडलस इज ई बल्क मॉडलस इज के एंड मॉडलस ऑफ रिजिडिटी इज सी आर जी सो दिस इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इन मैकेनिक्स ऑफ सॉलिड्स आर स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मेटीरियल्स स्पेशली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर लर्निंग हाउ टू साल्व दि प्रॉब्लम्स आन यंग्स मॉडलस बल्क मॉडलस मॉडलस ऑफ रिजिडिटी एंड दोज थ्री रिलेशनशिप्स so before going to solve the problems let's look at the relationship between three elastic constants so they are uh, denoted with e c r g and k e is young's modulus c and g is for modulus of rigidity and k is for bulk modulus so look at the three elastic uh, constant relationships the first relation is a relation between e and g g is nothing but modulus of rigidity so e is nothing but modulus of elasticity so e equals to 2g of 1 plus 1 by m g also denoted with c g r c both are same g r c next relation between e and k e equals to 3k of 1 minus 2 by m anyway 1 by m is nothing but it is a poisson's ratio poisson's ratio next relation between e g k so relation between e g and k 3 so e equals to 9kc or 9kg by 3k plus c or 3k plus g so g also can replace with c so 9kg by 3k plus g 1 by m is nothing but poisson ratio these are the three important relationships very important for the exam point of view other formula which are very much useful for solving the problems one is poisson ratio that is 1 by m so to get that a longitudinal strain or linear strain is delta l by l lateral strain is delta d by d change in diameter by original diameter so poisson ratio equals to lateral strain by linear strain lateral strain is delta d by d and linear strain is delta l by l and also stress formula is sigma equals to p by a or load per area Young's modulus is e equals to sigma by e. E is nothing but linear or longitudinal strain. So these are the very much important formula which is useful for the solving the problems. Let's look at the first problem. Read the question and understand the question twice and thrice. So read the question for twice and thrice and understand the question what given and what to find out. Let's read this question. A round bar is subjected to a tensile stress of 85 newton newton per mm square, and strain induced in the material of the bar is 0.0003. Find the modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity is nothing but e. E equals to sigma by e, where sigma equals to stress, e equals to strain. Sigma equals to 85 by 85 newton per mm square. E equals to 0.0003. so clearly given in the question itself so modulus of elasticity equals to sigma by e 85 by 0.0003 hence the answer is 2.8 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square this is modulus of elasticity look at this second question the following data relate to a bar subjected to a tensile test diameter of the bar given as 30 mm tensile load is 54 kilo newton gauge length is 300 mm and change in length is 0.112 mm change in diameter is 0.00366 mm and asking that calculate the poisson ratio that is 1 by m or mu the values of three moduli e c and k let's look at the solution this is solution so poisson ratio equals to 1 by m that is nothing but uh, lateral strain by linear strain to get lateral strain that is delta d by d means change in diameter by original diameter so change in diameter given as 0.00366 by 30 so hence the uh, lateral strain is 1.22 in 10 to the power of minus 4 longitudinal strain is delta l by l so 0.112 by 300 that is 3.73 into 10 to the power of minus 4 hence we got lateral strain and linear strain so lateral strain by linear strain is nothing but poisson ratio that is nothing but 0.327 as poisson ratio second question asked that the values of three moduli means 
we need to find out e equals to something g equals to something and k equals to something to find out e equals to something we have a formula that are sigma by e sigma is nothing but stress that is nothing but p by a p given as 54 so 54 into 20 power of 3 and a is nothing but area pi by 4 into d square so sigma equals equals to 76.39 newton per mm square next Young's marlis is nothing but sigma by e so sigma got 76.39 and e is nothing but already we solved this one this is 3.73 in 10 to the power of minus 4 so substitute here so 76.39 over 3.73 into 10 to the power of minus 4 hence e equals to 2.05 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square next to get uh, to get g we have the relationship between e and g is nothing but that is e equals to 2g of 1 plus 1 by m from this e equals to we know the value that is 2.05 so g we don't know 1 by m is already we know so substituting the values and getting g equals something so g equals to e by this total story will come to this left side e by so 2 into 1 plus 1 by m that is substituting the values g equals to 0 0.77 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square next moving on to the bulk modulus this is also from the relationship of e equals to 3k of 1 minus 2 by m this is the relationship between e and k from that relationship we need to find out k send these all the information to the left that will become e by 3 into 1 minus 2 by m by substituting the values we will get k equals to 1.97 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square look at the third question a cylindrical bar is 25 mm in diameter and 1.25 mm long during tensile test it is found that the linear strain is four times the lateral strain calculate the shear modulus bulk modulus and change in volume if the bar is elongated by 0.06 mm under an axial load of 50 kilo newton so reading this question and understanding the question ask that shear modulus bulk modulus and change in volume so the given data is d equals to 25 mm l equals to 1.25 meter that uh, convert into millimeters that is 1250 mm linear strain is equals to 4 into lateral strain so send this lateral strain to the left side so uh, send this linear uh, strain to the right side and 4 to that side so lateral strain by linear strain equals to 1 by 4 that is nothing but poison ratio that we can write it as 0 0.25 also elongation is delta l given that is 0 0.06 mm p given as 50 kilo newton convert that into newtons so 50 into 1000 newton so linear strain is delta l by l that is 0 0.06 over 1250 that is equals to 4.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 stress equals to p by a p given as 50 into 10 to the power of 3 a is nothing but pi by 4 d square d is nothing but 25 so pi by 4 d square will get sigma equals to 101.86 newton per mm square next to modulus of velocity this is nothing but e equals to sigma by e sigma equals to 101.86 newton per mm square just now we got e equals to already 4.8 into 10 to the power of minus 5 is there substituting those values and finally we will get the e equals to 21.22 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square after getting e value we can find out g and k with the help of a relationship between e and c and e and k so e and g relationship is e equals to 2g of 1 plus 1 by m so e and 1 by m values we know so separate this g substitute the values of e and 1 by m then we'll get the value of g equals to 8.48 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square Moving on to the bulk modulus calculation, this is also from the relationship of E and K, E equals to 3K of 1 minus 2 by M. So substituting the values E and 1 by M in the relationship, we will get K equals to 14.15 into 10 to the power of 5 Newton per mm square. Next question is volumetric strain, that is, that is nothing but change in volume by original volume. So that we can write it as sigma by e generally uh, e equals to we have a formula that is sigma by e right sigma by e so from this sigma uh, send this capital a to the right side this small e to the left side so e equals to sigma by e so anyway we have this 1 minus 2 by m relationship also so substitute the values of 101.86 
by 21.22 into 10 to the power of 5 this is values already we got from the previous calculation so 1 minus 2 by 4 so after substituting we got 2.4 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so change in volume equals to dv that is nothing but whatever the value we got ev that into actual volume so 2.4 into 20 power of minus 5 into v so v is nothing but volume that is area into length so pi by 4 d square l so substitute the d and l values we will get finally dv equals to 14.726 mm cube because of this is change in volume mm cube so how we got this change in volume just by just by multiplying ev into capital v so ev into capital v we got change in volume fourth question for a given material Young's marlus is 110 giga newton per meter square and shear marlus is 4 giga newton per meter square find the bulk marlus and lateral contraction of round bar of 37.5 mm diameter and 2.4 meter length when stretched 2.5 mm so the given uh, Values are Young's marlus is equals to 110 giga newton per meter square that you can convert into newton per mm square into 10 to the power of 9. So finally we got 110 into 10 to the power of 3 newton per mm square. Like that shear marlus also 42 point 10 to the power of 3 newton per mm square. So D equals to 37.5 given in the question and L equals to 2.4 meter given in the question that convert into mm so delta l equals to 2.5 mm that given in the question so to find out the bulk marlus we have the formula equals to relationship e equals to 2g of 1 plus 1 by m so from this we can get a 1 by m value so that is 0 0.309 so after after getting 1 by m k equals to we have the relationship e equals to 3k of 1 minus 2 by m so substituting e value and k 1 by m values in this uh, relationship of e and k so then we will get the answer k equals to 95.98 10 to the power of 3 newton per mm square next question is determine the poison's ratio and bulk marlus of a material for which young's marlus is 1.2 into 10 to the power of 5 newton per mm square and marlus of rigidity is 4.8 into 10 to the power of 4 newton per mm square so g given and e given so asking that find out the bulk marlus and poison's ratio to find out 1 by m and k look at this given data is e given g given so we know e equals to 2g of 1 plus 1 by m from this we can find out 1 plus uh, 1 by m that is nothing but 1 by m equals to 0 0.25 so after getting 1 by uh, m that is poison's ratio substituting in the relationship of e equals to 3k of 1 minus 2 by m so from that we can find out k substituting e values and 1 by m values we will get k equals to 8 to 10 to the power of 4 newton per mm square so this is what the way of understanding the questions and substituting the values in the relationship between E and K or E and C or E, C, K. So this is the way of solving the problems. Try to read the question twice and thrice and understand the questions and submit, uh, substitute the values in the formula. Then we will get the answers. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe and share my videos. This is your Mahesh Dole.